Hutch Henry's here with Classic Chris, and we got one hell of a hot crowd here today, Chris. You're right, Hutch. It's March Meltdown, our opening contest. Tomer Shalom taking on Primo Scordino. And we've got ourselves a second bell being rung there. And this match is definitely underway now. Well, I guess they want to make sure it's actually official. Well, Tomer Shalom's tag Never knows when the match has started or not. Spends so much time outside the ring. And these fans are hot at him, and they are hot for his opponent, Primo Scordino. This Niagara St. Catharines crowd really loves this guy. Well, I'm a big fan of Tomer Shalom's tactics. You know, he's trying to play some mind games with Primo. But right now, the fans came to see a fight, and that's what Tomer Shalom is here to do. But it doesn't look like that's what he's here to do. It's all part of his plan. Well, if I was Primo, I'd put a kibosh on that plan. I'd get out there right now and drag him back in the ring by his hair. It's the only thing that works with this guy. Here we go. Tomer Shalom getting back in the ring. Oh, here we go. Both men circling here. Nice lockup. Tomer Shlom, this is his first match back at Crossfire since returning from Israel. A long time spent in Israel, almost half the year, and did some really great stuff at UWI in Israel. Oh, he looks in great shape, but who also is in great shape is Primo Scordino. And this is not going to be an easy fight for either fight for either man in this match. Slow to start, just the way Shalom likes it. We go another lockup now. You're not going to get a clean break here, no way. Oh, oh, and he deked him out there. Big knee to the gut and another knife at Chop and Primo. He's not even affected. Into the corner oh, no. of the former champ and a big knife at Chop of his own from the Italian warrior Primo Scordino. Well, Primo Scordino is an accomplished tag team oh. wrestler, but not many know that he's a former Neo Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Hutch. Oh, a very accomplished single wrestler, yes, accomplished bodybuilder, tag wrestler. This guy's no rookie. He's been all oh. around Ontario. Beautiful chop there by Primo. Ah, he's got a lot of chicks in the wind column and he might be putting another one there at the expense. Whoa, of Tomer Shalom, what's going on outside? The rabbi and Gary Gambino getting into it. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like the man manager and the spiritual advisor aren't getting along. Tomer Shalom on the outside regrouper now. Look how ready Primo Scordino is. He, he came here to fight. And the fans are certainly behind Primo Scordino. What a turnout tonight for March Meltdown. And you know, this is the one year anniversary of you and I working together March Meltdown last year, Chris. Yes, you're right, Hutch. We started at the, at the Sports Expo. We did, and I was lucky enough to be here for that entire run where Jay Moore got kicked out of Crossfire. And unfortunately, I was here for when he returned. That's right, he is back, and he's managing Congo Kong in a big match against Rhino later on in the show. That's going to be impressive. Oh, yes. And so is this one when these guys get into it. I was just going to say, former former man of Jay Moore himself, the Crossfire heavyweight champion at the time, too, Tomer Shalom. And now more knees in the corner of Primo Scordino to the opposite side. Oh. And what's going on here? All oh, right into a big boot. That was smart by Primo, oh. followed up by a beautiful clothesline. And, and another. And Tomer Shalom is reeling, Chris. You're right. He is in an uncomfortable position right now. It's there not a place you Classic want to be. Classic 10 punch in the corner. The fans One, are ready to count it. Three, four, ah, you gotta love it. Nine, oh no. Oh, missed the atomic drop. Inverted style, got nothing oh. out of it. And spun around into a big close fist. I'm not sure if I approve of that, but it sure got the job done, Chris. Well, Primo's on fire right now. And this is good to see because 
Tony Carboni, he's not here tonight in Primo's and Singles competition. He wants to he wants to make his mark here. He wants to prove to the board that, you know, maybe down the road he should be in line for a crossfire title shot. He probably should. Oh, Primo's a wily vet. I'm having a bit of trouble seeing right now what's going on, but oh, oh I can hear that. Sounded like Primo went back first into the apron from the looks of things. Yeah, Toma rammed him hard in that ring. You know, I got a bit of a oh. better vantage point now for that forearm to the back, and Scordino is reeling, and Shalom's wasted no time going after him. Wasted time at the beginning of the match, yep. but wasted no time going after the leg and the, oh, and the head, and basically taking it to Primo Scordino. Well, that's what Toma Shalom did. He took advantage on the outside of the ring. If Primo would have stayed in the ring, he, he would have still had the advantage. That was smart by Tomer Shalom to get out of the ring and regroup. Digging in deep with the knees again. Those knees are vicious, Hutch. He's been Snap hit there with those all night. You're not going to get Scordino with that. No, but he's making Primo use that energy, use that uh, endurance to kick out. Well, he's got enough upper body strength. He could probably bench press Tomer Shalom all day long without breaking a sweat. I'm not going to disagree with that. Primo is an accomplished bodybuilder. He is a very strong man, and he is here for a fight. And right now, Tomer Shalom is taking it to him. And the rabbi, what's he trying to do? Get up on the ring apron? He's too fat and slow and old. Well, the rabbi is the Magic Johnson of wrestling for how many times he retired and unretired. But he's Tomer's spiritual advisor and he should be there. Tomer does a lot better with the rabbi in his corner. Well, I'm not sure if I believe that. I've seen the rabbi screw things up for Tomer and some of the other people he's managed over the years in Ontario many times. This guy is no savant. In fact, I'll come right out and tell you, the guy's an idiot. Well, Watch. Let's see if he does anything. Nah, see, he's not even smart enough to cheat. Not that I approve of that. That's how much of an idiot this guy is. But he doesn't even take advantage when he can. Well, right now, the ref's right there, so it's smart that he's not doing anything. Ah, yeah, well. The fans just trying to get in Tomer Shalom's head. It seems that uh, the referee seeing what you're doing has not stopped Tomer Shalom in the past. Now we've seen him get blatantly disqualified before even. But not right now. Tomer Shalom is hungry ever since he returned from Israel. Oh, dig it in a second boot to the gut on the Israeli interloper and a nice big close fist again from Primo. He's firing those around tonight. He's oh, fighting wow. back. Rolled in, and it's deja vu, only the opposite of what we saw before. Scordino oh. now in control, and a third or fourth knee of the matchup to the gut now. Scordino's gonna be feeling this tomorrow. Oh, of course, all that work to the midsection. Whoa, oh, Primo gets out. Showing the agility. Scordino with a nice O'Connor roll up. Now. Oh. Barely. Tomer Shalom barely got the shoulder up and followed up with a nice clothesline. I don't think Scordino got all of that roll up that he wanted or we might have had a victory here. And believe me, Tomer Shalom would have gone completely insane if he had gotten rolled up here and embarrassed the opening match here at 2016's March Meltdown for Crossfire. Well, you don't want to go out and lose your first match back at Crossfire. Actually, you don't want to go and lose any match, period. No, certainly Tomer Shalom does not want to. He acts like a total baby when he does. But what you're talking about is moving back up the ranks. And after six months in Israel, the former champ is here attempting to do just that. Exactly. Oh, I was going to say, falling for it again, but no. There you Primo. go. Show you can't fool a guy who gets up as early in the morning as Primo Scordino. Showing that old school Italian fight that Primo has. Oh, nice clothesline. Primo's the Dwayne Johnson of Crossfire. He's probably up at 4.30 in the morning, clanging and banging every day. Look at the physique on this guy. I wouldn't disagree with that, Hutch. Great camera angle there as Shalom went into the far corner and Scordino followed it up with a big clothesline. Oh, nice running boot by Primo. Oh, nice DDT. Primo Scordino is on fire right now. Now we got the rabbi on the apron distracting our ref. There's a Gary Gambino pulling down the rabbi. I'm sorry, Chris. I oh, a big. Oh. Did you see that? My God, what's going on? The Cross chop to the throat. He's beating the hell out of the rabbi. Oh, oh low blow in the center of the ring, and the referee didn't even see it. Two, and it's all over. Tomer Shalom is your winner. Welcome back to Crossfire, Tomer Shalom takes full advantage of the Come referee's on. back. Let's take another look at that here. And here we go, a blatant low blow 
from Tomer Shalom behind the referee's back, and that led to a victory here for the former Crossfire champion, and unfortunately it looks like he's going to be moving back up the ranks.